path of devastation left by this week's wildfire in Cape Town, South Africa, will not be forgotten anytime soon. In fact, the damage will last in the memory of the University of Cape Town for a long, long time. For now, many roads that were closed are now reopened, and the dense layer of smoke covering the city has dissipated. Now the city can begin repairs to roads and city infrastructure damaged by the three-day fire. Correspondent Travis Andrews reports. The battle to contain one of Cape Town's worst fires in recent years is almost over, and other cities counting its losses. Helicopters have conducted aerial water bombing in high sections of the mountain to put out fires at hot spots. Some firefighting crews are still on the scene doing the same in lower parts of the mountain. Um, we currently have minimal crews uh, on the mountain slopes, mostly seasonal firefighters that are doing the mop-up operation. Because after such a fire over such an, uh, a vast uh, area, the, the aftermath and the overall takes quite some time. So I predict here by Friday, Saturday, um, we won't have anyone there mop with mopping up operations. But mostly there will be a couple of flare-ups, but that will be also in the burnt area. Local authorities say 11 structures have been destroyed and vast parts of Table Mountain have been bent. The University of Cape Town's African Studies Program Library also went up in flames, destroying priceless print and audiovisual material. It impacted on, on a lot of different things. It was just not only the fire with the vegetation and, and the structures that, built, that, was, um, that was damaged in the fire, the, the iconic structure, the Mostert's Mill that was now damaged and uh, most probably the damages at the UCT, that, uh, the Jagger Library, where they needed a structural engineer to, to see, uh, obviously with a structural engineer to have the building, need, does it need to be rebuilt. Students who were evacuated from the university's dormitory are set to return in the next 24 hours, once firefighters give them the all clear. Many Cape Town residents volunteering at the fire station are also set to stand down. While the flurry of activity at this central fire station has all but died down, the nations of food and drink continue to pour in for firefighters who remain in the mountains tending to the hot spots. And those hot spots are being monitored very carefully by authorities. We're also checking on the four firefighters who were injured while trying to put out the blaze.